a story about a young student who had been traveling with his teacher. They came across a lonely man working in the field. The student looked down and noticed a pair of shoes. This belonged to the man in the field. Well, he suggested to his teacher that they hide these shoes. And they themselves hide and see what the man's reaction was. The wise teacher decided to teach the student a valuable lesson in playing pranks on other people and having fun at their expense. The teacher said, instead of hiding his shoes, why don't we place two gold coins in each of the shoes? Then we can hide behind the bush and observe the reaction of the man. The student agreed. Before long, the man returned from the field to where he felt he had left his shoes. He placed his foot inside the first shoe and he felt the coin. When he emptied the shoe, he found the coin and he began to cry, looking up to the sky. The student was surprised to see this and he could not wait to see the reaction of the man when he put on the second shoe. When the man placed his foot in the second shoe, sure enough, he felt the second coin. And when he emptied the shoe, he grabbed the fallen coins, fell to his knees and he was crying uncontrollably. What a strange reaction, thought the student. But through the sobbing, the student and the teacher could hear the man saying that he had been working all day. He did not know where he would, where, what he would feed his family. Uh, he did not have any food or money. He was so thankful for what had happened that he prayed for the people who had placed the coins in his shoe. The student was not only speechless, but he too felt very bad for wanting to hide the shoes at the beginning. The student and the teacher decided to follow the man from a distance. Along the way, the man stopped at the local supermarket, bought some bread and milk and continued his journey. Every so often he would raise his hands to the heavens and, he'd, and, and he would say thank you in a voice that was just loud enough for his secret followers to hear. Before long, they came across an old shack where the man lived. As he entered, he was greeted with a smile from his family. They were so glad to see food in his hands. They quickly sat down at the table and began to eat. I wonder what the reaction of the man would be if he came from the field and did not find his shoes. Makes you think, doesn't it? I'm a happy person who always recommends a good laugh. But I certainly do not think it's okay to have a laugh by making fun of somebody else.